I've used cameras to capture the movements of people, and now I'm going to analyze that footage for you. This is the voice of Matthew Carlson. Let's get in it. Grand Central Station. Grand Central Terminal? I don't know. Anyway, this place is big. Looks like hundreds of people could come through every day. This is the morning. This is nine o'clock or so. It's not that congested. There's a lot of space. You see this one lady? Uh, she's really screaming through. Look at her. She knows what the weather's going to be today. She's got a raincoat. I bet she's like a judge or something. And somebody turned 20 or 30 or whatever. This cop just walks into this column like he didn't think they were gonna be there. That badge isn't a bulletproof vest. They say that in the movies. That's what I think of here. So you see this lady, she's trying to cut through a perpendicular lane of traffic. And what she's not doing is preserving her momentum by taking mini detours around the backs of these guys. This little square here is where you have an intersection of people leaving the subway and people coming out of, I don't know, Metro North or whatever you got. A lot of people just come to see, you know, what it looks like on the inside. You see these tourists. This cop is trying to give them some directions, but what are they doing? You know, they don't have any place to be. Pretty quiet moment here. You see this lady, she yawns. Oh my God. I don't really get couples that hold hands everywhere they go. This guy doesn't know where he's going, but a lot of people look that way. Look at this guy. He's walking, walking, walking. Uh-oh, here comes another guy. Boom. Ooh, fuck you. The first guy can't even believe that he has to share this hallway with like this dope in the raincoat, you know? But they were always going to intersect. One of them had to yield if both of them were going to continue walking at that speed. And if you saw this guy not paying attention, I mean, what are you just going to run into him out of spite? No, you gotta like slow down or speed up or change directions or something. Case closed. More tourists getting directions. See these first people, they're just gonna walk through. See, and this lady has to go around them too. She wasn't expecting anyone to be walking that slow. But look at this guy, he hates them. He says, go home, tourists go home. And here's this guy again. He's coming through the same place. I told you he was lost. Now I think this guy, his arm must brush up against this lady's purse or something because she suddenly notices him and looks down and you know, nothing's going on, it's all good. But then uh, he gets in front of her and um, I don't know, she's a little smiley and then she starts looking at his butt or something, I don't know. So here's another guy that doesn't know where he's going. Oh, and then he beefs it. Now this guy cuts through the whole thing pretty well. He sees this lady and realizes that he can shoot through, but then he realizes that this guy is gonna be right there, so he's gotta take baby steps to make sure he doesn't step on him. So taking shorter steps at the same tempo is a way to preserve momentum in your body, even when you gotta slow down. This lady's lost too. Uh, she's walking around kind of funny, but at least she has the class to sort of circle around and not just abruptly stop and make a 90 degree turn or what have you. Now look at this kid, nothing special, but he sees these two big guys coming. He decides to go around the back of them and he crosses over. Uh-huh. Union Square, really the hub of so many chapters of my life in New York City. Down here, there's lots of tourists, but college students are the problem at Union Square. They're like tourists. Look at this beautiful billowing sweater thingy this lady's got. All right, somebody's in a hurry. This guy, oh, and then he kind of pushes through these guys. This other guy, he straightens up with this umbrella really quick, like, hey buddy. Not much going on here, but this is a normal semi-crowded scene getting onto the six train. 
some minor collisions. This is what it's usually like. I missed the peak this day, but even then it's still not that bad. Here we go in the upstairs part of the station, this couple. Ugh, gross, you know? Here I go, threading the needle. If you don't mess anybody else up, it's okay. Everybody's getting off the L train. We're all going upstairs. I'm gonna follow these people. I'm behind this lady. And then this guy from my left comes in front of me. He was always kind of there though, so that's okay. But then, oh, excuse me. You know, some people. This lady coming up in the sunglasses does a great job here. Nice footwork. There's a knot of folks coming up from one of the platforms, so I think I'm gonna get around this guy with the, uh, the limp here. And so I come up on this column and I take it a little tight, but so does he. Ugh, and then I do it again to somebody else. So I sort of fucked up there. And what I did, I just wasn't taking my lines loose enough. So I'm just gonna follow this guy that was limping because obviously I need to get it together. Here we have a couple of lines of traffic converging. This guy back here, he sort of threads the needle. Yeah. Then I do it. So I'm following this guy and we're kind of going up the left side, which you think is kind of a no-no, but it's understood that we're walking to those southward stairs that go down to the end train. And if we didn't make a lane here, we would still have trouble down the line because we would have to create a perpendicular converging line of traffic near the front of the stairs. But that would be if it was really busy. Look at that hair. Uh, now I'm kind of going the wrong direction. And, oh, this lady, she's jogging. And then she decides, you know what, I can walk. Now check this out. This guy, he comes and he transfers this coffee cup from his left hand to his right hand. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He pulls the handle with his left hand and then tosses the coffee in with his right. And all of this is so he can release the handle with his left hand and then just walk away. You think he planned that? Anyway, this was so much fun. Thanks for doing this with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.